All my life was a plan when we met Said you never gonna find a better man when we met Can't even imagine in my brain when we met That everything will never be the same You scream at me, baby, give me all your hours You best believe everything I got is ours See, we a team, so we get what we desire Living our dreams, plant a seed, let it flower You and the kids making me a better man now I Vow that I'll never let them down I Next to you's where I wear my crown I You will never ever hit the ground so Give I you all my life was the plan when we met yeah. Said you never gonna find a better man when we met Squad, what's going on, Dobson family, Dobson team, Dobson army? Hope you guys are having a blessed day as always. We got the squad, we got the family, we got everybody in the building today. Today is going to be our first cooking with the Dobsons. With the Dobsons. So basically. You guys know I'm a fitness trainer. You probably think it's gonna be some all organic and you know, no carbs. Nah, listen man, it's Sunday. In the Dobson house, we eat, yes. all right? So we woke up this morning, we had this urge for some baked macaroni. I make a very simple baked macaroni, but it's always yes. banging, and um, some jerk chicken. You know, I'm, obviously we're from the islands, we love our spices, we love our, love our food grilled. You know, today we're not gonna grill, I'm gonna bake it in the oven. But um, for the most part, you know, we wanted something that doesn't have a little kick to it. So, got the baked macaroni, got some jerk chicken on the way. Get that thing prepared in the oven, on the stove, and ready to go. Yeah. All right? What you need in regards to uh, your baked mac, real simple. You know, you can buy one or two boxes, um, elbows, regular uh, elbows noodles, or, you know, macaroni noodles. We've got your cheese. We've got your cheese, and we've got your cheese, okay? Guys, do not catch yourself talking about you making baked macaroni and put sliced cheese in that thing. When you do make your baked macaroni, please don't put a handful. Be real with you, I went kind of light today. Normally, it's probably three of those big yes. bags, but when I make that baked macaroni, that thing needs to be cheesy. The cheese needs to be dripping, as you guys will see in a little while, okay? We've got your eggs, and we've got your milk, okay? Like I said guys, simple, simple recipe for the baked macaroni and the same thing for your jerk chicken. Jerk chicken, we got your uh, chicken legs, we've got salt to clean the chicken, we got your official Grace jerk seasoning, all right? So in any supermarket, go to the ethnic section, you know, anywhere you'll find the Goya products, you know, you'll find jerk seasoning, you'll find halal food, you know, anywhere they got the ethnic section, you gotta get the real deal. There's a lot of companies that say they make jerk seasoning this and jerk seasoning that. It ain't the real deal, man. You gotta get that Grace jerk seasoning. Grace, cut the check. <laughs> Jroyalofficial at gmail.com, PayPal. You got it? And uh, ketchup. Ketchup. Ketchup gives that little, that little zing, that little, you know, slight. You shouldn't be too, too sweet, but you should have a little bit of a kick, you know, a little bit of a, just a little, little, little zing. And like I said, last but not least, your soy sauce. So as far as um, you know, the ingredients, that's pretty much it. It's a yeah. straightforward meal, yep. um, super easy to prep. And just like that, I'm gonna show you guys the prep now. So in regards to the, uh, the baked macaroni, what I did was I basically just got the pot started, started boiling some water to uh, boil my macaroni. I'm always about multitasking. So while we're boiling the water for the macaroni, I'm actually also preheating the oven so that that chicken can go in there as soon as I season it and drop it in the pan. Make sense, babe? Yes. Thanks for all the help. You're, You're so welcome. beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> like, this is my, this is my uh, support system right here. She actually does most of the cooking, so I'm doing this video because this is probably one of the few meals that I do make. You know yeah. what I mean? So I, I, I did the little, the nose dive first, but a lot of the ropa viejas and the meatball parm, that's her. Mm -hmm. All right? I'm going to drop a little drop of olive oil into this water just so that your noodles don't stick together. Go back to a boil and let these noodles do what they do. Like I said, the salt is only here, it's only here to clean the chicken, all right? Got 
guys remember when you're handling chicken salmonella is a issue that can kill you so you want to be careful you don't want your chicken on a cutting board um, that's not washed you want to make sure everything is super clean and when you're done with your area you clean it up right after okay so that's that so salt is done okay so what I go to next is I douse my chicken in soy sauce okay again soy sauce is a very very salty ingredient all right so you don't want to go too hard you want to make sure that you got enough on there but if you have too much piling up in the bottom in the bottom of the dish or the pan that means you got a little bit too much soy sauce in there so if you see we got barely a layer piling up in the bottom if you got a pool of soy sauce in the bottom remember this isn't called soy sauce chicken this is jerk chicken so you just want it on there for the salt okay that's taken care of and this is another part that you want to do based on your your taste okay I know some people they don't put too much I know some people put a lot if you go to different Jamaican restaurants sometimes you eat the jerk chicken it'll taste like baked chicken with a slight hint of jerk on it I've gone to other places where you literally see the seasoning stacked on top of the chicken it's it's literally based on your preference don't forget your macaroni it's still boiling over here in the corner you don't want to overcook it and you don't want to undercook it that macaroni is coming together real nice about five more minutes on that so what I do with my jerk is I just mix it in and I see what we're looking like everything that I do whenever I cook is usually based to like sight you know I don't really say oh I put two tablespoons three teaspoons I usually do things to sight you know I like I like I'm a visual person so I feel like when my food looks like it's gonna taste good chances are it's gonna taste good that might not work for everybody so we got that going when I handle the chicken I like to continually wash my hands in between just a habit and now we got the jerk seasoning on there now we're gonna just put again there's no specific amount of ketchup that I put I usually just douse a nice solid layer across the chicken and that's pretty much it as far as ketchup again it's just we're not making ketchup chicken we just want to have that little zing that little little sweetness to it slight sweetness so now you can see your ingredients starting to pile up on the bottom so now jerk chicken doesn't really have a you know gravy gravy but that's enough of something that when you do pull it out the pan you'll have some sort of juice that you can put on top of your macaroni, you can put on top of your yellow rice, you can put on top of your rice and peas, whatever you decide to uh, make your jerk chicken with. So as far as ingredients, we really don't need any more. I'm pretty much, I'm happy with this. You see I have sauce on the bottom, there's really no sense to put anything else on top of this. Once I put these uh, pieces of chicken in the pan in the oven, I can then put that little bit on top of it just to give it that little layer before it's uh, covered. So that's just about ready. And it didn't overflow. We're lucky. Mm -hmm. That's done. Okay. So again, I don't want to cross contaminate. So I do need to strain that macaroni. So because I did prep the chicken in the sink, as far as uh, washing it, I want to wipe the sink down just a little bit. Just to make sure nothing gets on my noodles. Want to strain that out real good, give it a little shake to make sure there's no water in between. Boom, she's done. Get your pan. And right into the pan. Ooh, I'm a savage, right? Yeah. So let this sit for a couple seconds. Transfer right, my chicken over to my pan. And then like I said, we just use this and you can even uh mix up another small batch of sauce on the side tell me if you guys have had jerk chicken before man comment below let me, let me know if you guys have had some jerk chicken before. Tell me if you love it. Tell me where were you when you had your first piece of jerk chicken? Were you in Jamaica? 
Or you at the Jamaican spot in your city? Um, tell me if you don't like jerk chicken. Um, you know, it's 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 a jerk is a is a very a very strong taste. You know, it's one of those tastes that you probably have to acquire. You know, me growing up in a Jamaican household, you know, I acquired the taste for jerk seasoning. I love it, but um, I can see where some people probably just won't like it. You know, but jerk is very good if prepped the right way. And especially, especially if you can get it on the grill outside, oh my God, you get that real smoky taste. Oven is preheated at 400. My mom tends to do her, her chicken covered with foil and then the last five to 10 minutes she'll leave it uncovered. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop it in there just like this because you have the choice of either cooking the chicken open or you can cover it. Um, some people feel like it may cook a little faster when it's uh, covered. You know, from the inside out, because it kind of holds the heat on the inside, but you can still cook it uncovered. I'm going to leave it in there. In 45 minutes, we got some jerk chicken. In regards to the mac, what we're going to do over here now, we're going to start with the milk. It's really based on uh, how much you're making. In this case, I'm going to put a cup and a half. A cup and a half of milk. I'm going to put four eggs in here today because I need my protein. Eggs are pretty much stirred up. They're gonna they're gonna get worked in a little bit more anyway because we still got a whole lot of cheese to dump. So what I'm gonna start with is the uh, the mix blend. Um, the, sh the shark cheddar in there along with some of the mozzarella. oven so just like that the baked mac is prepped ready to go oven has been preheated it's at 400 I usually bake it between 375 and 400 but because we have the chicken in there we'll just leave it at 400 um 30 minutes in the oven uncovered until the top is golden brown and you got a baked macaroni dinner that was all of about an hour okay between prep and being in the oven baked mac is looking good that's perfect See, so I like, I like that layer of cheese on top. And I know it's done when I get those little brown tips. I like those little crisp. I don't want it too, too dark up top. But I like those little crispy tips. means that we're starting to get nice and toasted. And honestly, I think the chicken is done at the exact same time. The chicken looks good. The chicken looks good. That's your jerk chicken. Let it go. Oh, my God. Yes, 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 yes. Alright, let me uh a lot of times you need to do like a uh a thermometer to check. I mean sometimes you when you know you've had your chicken in there long enough, you know it's cooked enough. Um or sometimes you can just cut it open, just make sure your chicken's not pink, you know, and you're good to go. So she's good to go, man. Bon appetit. Chef Dobson in the building with the help of my beautiful baby. Dobson fam, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys took some notes. We're gonna have all the preparation steps in the description. Um, like, comment, share, tag, Dobson fam, we love you, stay up, stay blessed, we out. And just like that, my babies are fed. How was it baby? Good. 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 So good. Let's get it. Dob Squad, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for seeing my uh, my secret recipe, jerk chicken, baked macaroni. Bon appetit, ladies. Hope you guys enjoy when you make yours. 
Do me a favor, let me know how it came out on the bottom. Again, give us any ideas that you guys want us to make. Let us know if there's any things that you guys make that you want to have us try one time. Mm -hmm. We love you. We appreciate you. Dob Squad. <laughs> Bye.